Deoxyribonucleic acid. Otherwise known as the blueprint of life, this remarkable double helix molecule stores genetic information and is present in all living things. Genes, or segments of DNA, consist of a sequence of nucleotide bases that code for the proteins and enzymes needed in an organism. But what happens when a segment of DNA is changed on purpose? Gene targeting is a method of changing any gene in an organism and has led to numerous discoveries related to human disorders. The key to these findings? The ability to inactivate genes by engineering a loss of function mutation. Knockout mice are typically employed to study the effects of specific genes being inactivated. The genetic knockouts are developed in laboratories through a meticulous process, beginning with embryonic stem cells. Stem cells, also known as the body's master cells, are unique because they have the ability to become any type of cell in the body. If each color in the rainbow represented a different cell type, stem cells would cover the whole spectrum. After the ES cells are harvested, a viral vector is inserted directly into the nucleus of the cell. Equipped with drug resistance markers, in addition to identical DNA to that of the target gene, the vector infiltrates the nucleus of the cell. The cell's nuclear machinery recognizes the identical DNA and proceeds to swap the target gene with the targeting gene. This process is known as homologous recombination which is when two strands of DNA with similar base sequences exchange genetic material. Now, remember how I mentioned that the viral vector contains drug resistance markers? To determine if the mutated gene was incorporated into the DNA of the ES cells, the cells are treated with various drugs that are toxic to those not containing the drug resistance markers. Hence, when the genetically mutated ES cells develop into adults, the target gene's function is knocked out in all of the mice. Ideally, the modifications are visible in the organism with a genetic mutation, allowing scientists to pinpoint the function of the specific gene being studied. For example, let's say that the p53 gene was inactivated in a mouse model. Normally, the p53 gene codes for a protein that initiates cell death. However, in this scenario, the p53 gene is inactivated meaning that the mutated cells would then duplicate out of control, leading to tumorous growth. Through methods such as gene targeting, our knowledge of DNA has not only expanded, but also resulted in findings that could lead to the prevention of diseases and disorders altogether. So, the next time you wonder if there is a way to prevent such disorders, look no further than the method of gene targeting.